Hi friends, welcome back to Evolve or Die. Um, as you can see, the video quality has drastically improved from the likes of last time. So Justin, thank you for that. Thank you for all the wonderful equipment and the lights uh, to really get me started. Um, yeah, so welcome back guys. And this is just gonna be another introductory video about why I started investing, how I started, um, you know, what inspired me, like what motivated me to totally immerse myself in researching and become completely obsessed with being able to multiply money in this way. So just a little background. Um, I do have quite a few different uh, revenue streams. I try to always keep uh, multiple streams of income coming in because I mean, let's be real. 2021, it's just having one income stream is just not sustainable any longer. I work for a relay communication service. I'm a tutor also. Um, I do publish articles and blog here and there and have a, I have a few other business projects that I'm working on, uh, personal projects. But um, that all being said, the reason, you know, that I started investing, what inspired me the most was, you know, sometimes working 60, 65 hours a week and still <laughs> barely being able to afford like just to live just basically to live right so i'm like you know i can work all these hours i work all these hours for you know slave wages basically and i'm like the only solution like is to either continue the cycle you know just keep working more hours or searching you know for higher paying jobs and things like that or just research and study like how to make your money multiply like how how do i multiply my funds like how do i multiply my fixed income and that's kind of what set me on the path it kind of set me on the trajectory of um pretty much obsession just being like ob exhausted at being stuck at a certain tier at a certain quality of life and there's so much money in circulation. Like I just started asking myself repeatedly every day. I would ask myself like, you know, I'm an economics major and a double major political science. So every day, like I asked myself, I'm like, there's so much money in circulation. You know, how do I get to it? How, how do I seize it? How do I make capitalism work? How do I make capitalism work for me? Like, how do I make capitalism work for myself? for my needs, like my financial needs. Um, I'm like, oh my God, like investing. <laughs> Just learn how to invest. Like where's all the money? The money is funneled into corporate America. Like that's where the money is. So I've just begun following the money, literally. And um, I just started in a very cash. I didn't just make it a point to follow where ultra wealthy people were putting their money, but more specific than that, where the ultra wealthy innovators of our time are putting their money, like what projects, like what venture capital opportunities do they see as an empire in the future? Like for instance, Jeff Bezos, I'm just gonna throw this one out there. Uh, this is not financial advice, I'm not advising anyone um to buy any stocks but this is one of just an example of what i'm trying to relate here uh jeff bezos has funneled an obscene amount of money like millions and millions of dollars into a company called unity biotechnology and this company is basically uh, a biotech company that's looking to combat the effects of aging so you know dementia eyesight uh, vision loss um that kind of thing so they're looking to reverse these these effects right so i'm thinking in my head okay jeff bezos the man that created a global conglomerate and monopolized the entire retail industry in like 15 years where does he see the future going? Where does he think we should be focused? Like, where does he think 
there's going to be a lucrative investment opportunity. You know, he's funneling millions of dollars into this company. So my head was thinking in this manner, like this is how I kind of approached investing to start off. You know, I just started following the money trail. I just started looking up people that have a track record of being highly, highly, highly successful when it comes to innovation and futurism and then applying that, applying their knowledge to, you know, my own interpreting of, of information and, you know, expanding my research from there. Um, and the first thing that I think like everybody should ask themselves when they're investing is, is what's your end goal? Like you, you should have a goal, like you should have certain things that you're very specific about expecting. So I would look for projects or technologies or ideas that were supported or being um, funded by certain ultra wealthy people. You know, you're looking up companies or researching companies, like you're going to want to see their institutional buy-ins. Like you're going to want to see what other companies believe in this company's vision, what major investors, what investment firms are funneling large percentage of their designated ETFs to a certain company. You know, you're, you're going to want to see those numbers. Like you're going to need to do research. And I do want to uh, show you guys some of the resources that I use in the upcoming videos. But I think like the first thing that everyone needs to do, um, again, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, just sharing like my journey and my story and sharing information with you guys like as I as I attain it. But I think everyone should be asking themselves, like, what's your goal? You know, you need to come up with a time frame. You need to come up with um, entering and exiting strategies. Like you need to be able to have a strategic plan that's going to be able to maximize your profits and mitigate your losses. So really like you need to have certain things in your head like are you looking to be you know in it for the long haul are you looking for you know three to three to seven year growth are you looking for monthly dividends are you looking for you know a 20 percent annual return like you need to be asking yourself what are your objectives like going in you know what are what's your plan like are you planning to take an active role in your portfolio because a lot of people um, have this, they have this idea in their head of they're going to go in, they're going to, you know, leave their portfolios alone. They're going to just let it sit for, you know, two, three years. And meanwhile, a few cycles have come and gone. And while it was sitting through all of the peaks and all of the declines, like all of the recessions, you know, you're going to be missing out on gains basically like you want to take an active role in your portfolio like you probably don't want to sit through all of the cycles because you can be making money on those write-ups and you can be getting even better entry points if it's a long hold for you like if you are wanting to be in that particular company for you know three to seven years or even, you know, one to three years, you could still be buying and selling. You could still be buying and selling. Like you're going to be trading around a core position. So trading and investing are different too. <laughs> I don't know, you know, what your personal interests are. I don't know what your personal goals are, but um, I do like to consider myself a trader and an investor because I do have quite a few long hold positions that I think are going to uh, dominate their sectors in a few years. Um, but I also do have, you know, picks that I'll, I'll look up and I will 
see, okay, you know, they've had like an 80% decline in the past month, like it's at least probably going to recover 10% on the week and will will hold um, for a fixed amount of time. But again, it's going to come back to what kind of like what kind of role are you looking to take in your portfolio? And I am gonna make you guys a video about how to pick which brokerage you would like to use um, based on your own personal user needs. But I would like to do a book of the week also, share with you guys a book that I'm reading and this week the book is going to be zero to one by peter thiel and it's just a really really amazing book um about entrepreneurship and about this you very unique world view that was crafted by peter thiel who is the founder of palantir which is this data analytics company it is my highest conviction play uh, just so you know, I have the highest conviction in Palantir's growth for the long term. But anyways, the book is an incredible read and it's just so engaging and he presents the world in such a unique philosophical but still very entrepreneurial way. And it's just, it's an incredible read. So I highly recommend it's like an 11 out of 10 book, zero to one. And um, Till next time, guys. Thanks for coming to the channel. And yeah, thanks, guys.